High fire signs, Aries, Venus, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at what secrets is your person keeping from you. Um, it is going to be a general reading, so guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. A lot of um, a lot of swords here, okay, which tells us that your person has definitely um, is holding on to something mentally, emotionally, okay. So there is something here that your person is holding on to. Um, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. You possibly could find yourself to be the victim of betrayal, the victim of lies, deceit, deception here, mental trickery. Um, your person has definitely said or done things that they regret. And for some of you, maybe, you know, they have betrayed you, they have cheated on you, they have hurt you in the past. And maybe they've promised to never engage in such behavior again. But I don't know if their promise was as genuine and sincere as you might have believed it to be. Because people have paradigms. People hold on to patterns of behavior. And given the multitude of swords here, I feel like there is something here that your person has been has lied to you about not once, but a couple of times. They've gotten good at it as well with the Seven of Swords. It is someone, and look, it's alongside the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, he's great and everything, um, but it's routine, okay? It's someone that has grew accustomed to doing things a certain way. It's emotional or behavioral patterns that are damaging and that are hindering and that are not necessarily healthy. So what secrets do they keep, do they hold on to? Are they holding on to? Well, I think it's more than just a secret. This person might be cheating on you okay they may have cheated on you in the past they may be continuing to do so um, they may have an emotional it, it could be several things okay so because of the multitude of swords that I'm picking up but whatever it is it does feel like that you know this person is aware that what they're doing is wrong and they shouldn't be doing what they're doing and if they do get caught in the lie and if it does get exposed it potentially could be the ruin or the undoing of this particular relationship or this particular connection their reputation their character you know their career as well so it could be emotional infidelity okay your person might have uh they may engage in emotional intimacy with a romantic partner that isn't necessarily yourself they may develop they may be developing romantic feelings for someone else they may feel they may like engage in intimate conversations with a potential future partner okay so it's an emotional affair but it's not yet manifested in the physical realm they may be cheating on you with someone else okay they may have cheated with you in the past they may not necessarily be doing it now, but it's something that they've done in the past and they haven't told you about. This person could also have a tendency to fabricate the truth, okay? They may be a compulsive liar. They may have this tendency to stretch and fabricate the truth, tell you different versions of it. But hey, the truth doesn't have a version, does it? It doesn't have different versions. Um, there is malicious motivation or there is malicious intent behind it because they know what they're doing is wrong and they know that if they get caught in the process that you know they're doing the wrong thing so the picture here 
the man in the picture here in particular, you know, his head is swiveling from side to side. What's he doing? He's looking around for nearby for witnesses. So again, it's not so much that your person is doing the wrong thing. It's more that they're hoping they don't get caught whilst doing the wrong thing. Because what they're doing, consciously, they know that it's wrong. But they're just, you know, fingers crossed, hoping that they don't get caught in the process. So they know it's deliberate. It's a choice, so do not make excuses for this individual. It does feel like there may be someone else. There may, there may have been someone else in the past. Um, it, it could be a lot of things. It could be family detail. There may be some things, maybe their parents, um, you know, cheated on each other. And it's something that they've never really gotten over. It could be some family detail that they're not revealing to you or that they're fabricating to paint themselves in a different light. Um, it could be that they're, you know, fancy a co-worker and um, are becoming very interested romantically in a co-worker. They may feel guilty for it, but it's not stopping them. They could be flirting up a storm with this individual. Um, I do think it's someone who, you know, they're, you've placed your trust in this person and what they, they've taken your trust and they're essentially betraying that trust, okay? They're breaking that trust here. So it is someone that you have grown to be very suspicious. It is someone who, like this person tells you things and it doesn't always make sense. So they might tell you that they were, you know, at this place, this and that time. But it, whatever it is that they say, whatever conversations you have with them, it never really fully adds up. You know why that is? That's because when something doesn't add up, it's because the truth was left out of the equation. Mm -hmm. So they're leaving out the truth here. Some of you, you've been here, you've been with, you've been here in this particular place with this person, okay? And it's like certain past events are repeating and recycling themselves. Um, you feel, you know, you've been betrayed by this person, you've trusted this person, they broke your trust, they made you grow to be very suspicious, very confused here. Um... It could also be that your person has, for example, they may have, um, look, they may be cheating on you, okay? Um, and they feel like they connect with someone else. They, they're connecting with someone else here. It could also be that with your person's energy, I'm seeing... They may have like sexual fetishes that they're not telling you about. Okay, um, I feel like the way they've been acting lately is creating a distance between the two of you. Okay, and to me it feels like this person is essentially robbing you of the opportunity to make a really informed decision about the relationship and about this connection because they're you know, they may be cheating on you or they may be uh, dishonest here and all the while you're thinking, you know, you're in a faithful and monogamous relationship when really you're not. Um, a lot of mental energy is being sapped here because uh, someone here is, well, they're confused, they're concerned and, you know, they're thinking things. So, for example, this person's behavior may be very confusing and suspicious and they're giving you a lot of explanations, some of which don't make sense or don't add up. Um, and therefore, you're, you know, it's really sapping your mental energy. It could also be sapping your person's mental energy in the sense that it is something that they want to share with you, um, but it just they don't know how to say it and they're scared of the consequences that are going to ensue. So instead, they act cold or distant, um, or give you an explanation. I mean, you know, swords energy, this person is a natural wordsmith, so they know all the right things to say. They know what you, you know, what you want to hear. Not, not exactly, you know, not necessarily what you need to hear, but they know what you need to hear. So it feels like they're not, they might not even be able to be fully honest with themselves as well. So they may, you know, they may even be a compulsive liar and maybe in denial here. They might, 
they might feel like if they do reveal their secrets here it would be devastating it essentially hurt you break you it'll break the connection so there's essentially an element of fear as well you know you might be outraged disgusted you might really be hurt and heartbroken as well so it feels like they don't really see they feel like revealing the secret here is going to jeopardize they're not comfortable talking i don't see they're comfortable talking about anyone to anyone it could maybe a close friend maybe a therapist i don't know some, someone here maybe um but i feel like they're telling themselves some um, they're defining they're excusing their own behavior potentially and they're, they're sort of dismissing what they say or what they do here as it's not so bad as well at times and maybe that's what's also allowing them to keep engaging in this bad behavior like justifying their bad behavior basically Uh, keeping secrets is affecting their mental health because I do think it's it's making this person more prone to lying and you know secret keeping. They may even feel embarrassed or ashamed for some of you, or they feel like it might get them in trouble with you, with someone else, with work, maybe even the law. I don't know. It's like there's some big secrets that this person. It could be different categories, guys. It could be, you know, sexual, um, sexual relations, sexual orientation, drug use, family life, illegal activity. But there's something here. It's not never pleasant to carry a secret, but if this person doesn't feel like sharing this with you right now. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and and subscribing to the channel definitely emotionally and mentally fatiguing whatever this is okay thank you guys bye for now